hello everyone so so i wanted to continue and do another episode in this c plus plus unreal engine tutorial series today but uh, once i opened the project and last time the visual studio worked without any issue but now today it seems it doesn't do hot reloading and it sometimes works it times sometimes doesn't so i it's kind of annoying so i thought of like i got some suggestions uh, last time to use this jet brains rider so i'm gonna give it a try today see if that is if jet brains rider is better than we shall see studio for unreal engine development all right so uh, all you have to do is go to this jetbrains.com rider unreal and uh, there uh, you have to fill out this small questionnaire and then uh, upon the completion of that you will get an email to the given email address and from that you can download so i'm at the moment i'm downloading jetbrains rider and also i received an email to uh, get an get a license to use rider so let's wait until this rider is downloaded so let's install it and see how to configure it to use with unreal engine all right download finished let's install it SD okay so i have to restart the pc right right so i restarted my pc now let's open the project and see all right now uh, let's go to project settings and where is it oh, is it in editor settings yeah it should be in editor settings not project settings editor preferences and the source code yeah source code editor for now i have the visual studio okay let's select this rider installed version restart required okay let's restart all right engine restarted let's open this c plus plus character it open oh i got this right uh, I think dark one is better this one looks all right uh, I think let's use this one I don't think we need any of these to work with Unreal. Let's start using the rider. Okay, I need to activate this. Okay, I think this is the key that I downloaded from my license uh, activate 
okay it worked right now continue so I got this by downloading from the license page that I got uh, uh, through the link I received uh, received into my email after registering in rider website actually it was in this JetBrains website okay it is starting let's see what we get all right Azure DevOps uh, I don't think I need this right I think uh, still something is happening in the background should I wait I think we should load is still loading the solution so let's so let's give it a give it some time oh, right a link plugin is required okay let's install this into the engine okay so it is installed in the rider link plugin okay rider link installed all right do i have to enable this let's see So right. Okay. Do I have to wait? Processing Unreal Engine source files. I think. Can we continue with the work? okay this is the character class we created before this is the header file don't need this so let's do some small change like now let's just build this and see it does Okay, build succeeded. What about hot reload? Delete a hot reload. Okay, I try to build again uh, by only commenting this lookup part. I just wanted to see if there is any change and hot reload works uh, with unreal but it seems it's stuck at this part actually uh, I had this uh, problem in Visual Studio 2 I really hope that we don't have the same problems with the rider also is it because this oh, we can cancel the build here not working okay let's close this and 
do a rebuild Okay, so let's try this. Let me exit from ride and also let's close the editor and let's delete this save to intermediate vs. Uh, should I delete this one too? Let's leave it for now. I'm not sure. binaries too oh and also saved generate oh wait shouldn't it say now rider I'm not sure anyway let's try it okay let's rebuild it has started let's open this character with rider and let's see if it works this time okay it did open mm -hmm. let's do a build build is running will succeeded but no hot reload in here shall we check now write a link uh, that is also enabled but still no hot reload right so I close both uh, editor and the uh, rider and then I here again deleted the saved intermediate derived data and VS and idea all the folders and then again try to open it so it generated the files again and then here refresh uh, rider project and opened it so now it seems like working so if I play here uh, you can see it is plain and if I comment these two parts uh, this is regarding the lookup and turn if I comment these parts and let's try building it Build succeeded. Let's play. Now we can see I can't look up or down. So that means 
the hot reload part works so the changes are reflected here in the editor even though I didn't get this chick chick notification here but it still it works okay so right now I think I, we can confidently say we have successfully set up rider to work with unreal and yeah let's stop this episode here so and let's continue with the usual c++ series from the next episode onwards and let me remove the comment and build one more thing if i just build it the changes are right change is already there cool so actually maybe it worked before too since i didn't get the hot reload complete notification here i thought it didn't work cool okay so thanks for watching so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye